Hey, what's going on gamers? Happy holidays. I hope you're all enjoying the Smithsmiths update so far. Not too long ago, I made a video about the new war paints that came out, and they were okay. There were some that were kind of cool, and they have unusual form, but nothing really exciting. I think where most of the excitement and all the hype is coming from is the new unusual effects, and I think we might have a dilemma here of there's too many good ones. They're so nice, and I'm going to go through them in this new video and not just look at them, but rate them, talk about how, how rare I think they'll be, how easy to trade they are, how expensive they might be, and kind of just tier them in general to get a general idea of these new unusuals that are coming in. I think these we finally have some unusuals that people are excited about and might shake up the economy a little bit. So let's get into it, and uh, yeah, happy holidays. Hope you guys enjoy. So first one up on the list is new unusual is sparkling lights. Now, I don't know what you guys think, your first impressions. To me, this is pretty boring, pretty ugly. It's kind of just stale. I think it's going to be very low tier, and I'm just kidding. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I remember first seeing this effect on the Steam Community Workshop two, maybe three years ago, and I was like, this is amazing. I love this. It's simple. It's extremely themed around Christmas, these sparkling bulbs and lights, and it gets back to some of those old school effects, which are just simple, basic, flashy, but not like over the top ridiculous with all these different like 2D effects flying around. This is just pure, simple, clean. I love the, th I love the theme because all, on all the new winter hats, this is going to look amazing. This one is just, is just beautiful. I don't know what you guys think. Instantly, I thought this is a gorgeous effect. As long as this doesn't have a really high unbox rate, I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty expensive and maybe a new collector's effect for people because it's just so beautiful. The first thing I thought too is if I could get this on a misc, a rack, if I could wear three of these, that would be insane. <laughs> Having three layers of these sparkling lights shining and flashing all over, that would be, that I would be in heaven. I would pay a lot of money for that rack, but unfortunately you can't unbox this on any misc still. You can, however, unbox it on other hats, uh, you know, older hats, not just the new cosmetics. It's going to be pretty rare. I've been looking on the Steam market for these a lot. They seem to be one of the more rare unboxes, so they could be pretty expensive. They could end up being pretty high tier in a collector's item because there's hardly any of them that have been unboxed since the update came out. If you could find one of your favorite hats with this effect, I would hold on to it because these seem to be, they're, they're pretty, they're fancy, they're, I don't know, I could talk about the, this new effect all day. Personally, one of my favorites just because it's so unique and different than all the other effects actually different than almost all the effects in general it's that different and that special and the theme uh holiday theme and just any anyways i'm gonna move on to the next effect you guys know how i feel about the sparkling lights effect uh so yeah i think this is beautiful now we're moving on to frozen icefall which is actually very nice as well i love this the color scheme that they tended to go through with this update and these new unusual effects of uh, these deeper purples and light blues and whites and kind of this frosty cool snowy feeling this one is great because it's very active i think a lot of people like not just unusual effects that are big in general, but they're just active. They have lots of stuff going on. I really like how they have the icicles on the top that kind of break off and fall down. Kind of reminds me of Knife Storm. They also have the steaming effect. It also kind of has frostbite and rain. Like, there's got so many different things going on. It's just beautiful, especially on a Smithsmiths hat, one of the newer ones. Uh, as long as this thing is a semi-rare unbox, I think it's going to be one of the more higher tier ones from this version. You know, I'm not sure how it's going to tear up against some of the moons, the old school moon effects, but... It's beautiful, so getting this effect maybe on an old school hat or a really popular hat is going to be good. I just hope that not all these unboxes, these new effects are kind of tied down to the new cosmetics because to be honest, most of them are kind of like, meh, they're cute and they're themed, but I really don't think traders are that excited to own them and trade them with unusual form. There's a couple that I think that are really nice. For the most part though, I, I, the, I don't want the effects to be ruined just because the new cosmetics aren't that great. But this is a really nice one. I like this one a lot. Fragmented gluons, fragmented quarks, and fla fragmented photons. So I don't know what you guys think. I have my personal favorite. It's funny that Valvo usually has like an orange or a red version and like a green, uh, dark green version. And there's always a purple version for some reason. So that's what they went with again. I really, really like these as far as activity. They kind of have this, you know, what is it? What is the name of the Aurora Borealis thing? Like those. Uh, effects in the sky. It also gives you kind of a nebula feel with the photon ones, a fiery feel with the other one, and then this kind of green uh, energy kind of feel with the other. This effect is just beautiful on its own, which I think is a testament to these new unusuals that a lot of these new effects are just very pretty on their own. You don't have to stack them, you don't have to wear them with a bunch of different things, but if you could stack them, somehow that would just be a whole new level. Collectors would jump all over these and they would hog them up and the price would go through the roof because that's when they really get to shine is when you get to stack colors and different effects. Overall, these are very nice. I think the Photons one is probably going to be the highest tier one for the most part. It really depends, again, on the unbox rate, how many of these are unboxed. Those purples and blues seem to be very popular because they're so unique. So someone wearing this with like a nebula, 
plus this effect, plus another purple effect, if you could stack them, would be ultra god tier and, and very, very high, highly demanded. These are probably going to end up to being middle to high tier, depending on how many are a box. If very few run box, they're going to probably be a little bit more expensive, but they're going to be, I think, in pretty good demand. But definitely the photon one will probably be the most expensive. Now we have the frag ones. I'm not sure why Valve went with so many frag this and frag that, but we have defrag, uh, mented reality, fragmented reality, and refragmented reality. This one, I think, same story. If you could wear three of these at once, that would be maybe one of the best, one of the top five triple combos in the game because this it, they just look so cool you have all these particles flying around in your head it kind of reminds me of like roboactive and antifreeze stack but you could do that with three of them which would be beautiful uh something about this it reminds you of like video games or tron or those metal Ghost, metal gear solid vr missions and it, i don't know it's just really really cool on their own they look pretty good but it's probably going to end up being lower tier unless it's like on a really rare hat or unless it's on the engineer hat i can't remember the, the name of it but that will be very expensive, I'm sure, and a collector will gobble it up and it'll go up in price like crazy, but for the most part, these are pretty, I think they're very unique, but it just sucks that it doesn't really fit with the hat, that these particles are flying off a solid object, you know, you kind of want it to feel like it's changing with it or it's part of the effect, but these would be amazing, like I said, if you could wear three of these as a misc, or even two of them um, on the engineer hat, I think the theme is perfect, probably one of the best themes in the entire game. Overall, they're still pretty cool, but these are probably going to be some of the lower tier ones of the new unusual effects. So very cool. I'm glad these made it into the game though. Now we have Snow Fallen and Snow Blinded, which these effects are actually pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of like disco or, a, you know, a light shining through a sky and opening up the clouds at night. So I think they scored a good one with the color, the effects, the lights, the swirling sparkles that kind of look like it's snowstorm or something. Uh, I do think this is going to be kind of more lower tier one because not only are the effects like very similar, this is like a slightly different hue, like the blue versus the white, but I do think the white is cool. So if you could, again, combo this with anything, have a white, maybe like frostbite or sunbeams or anything, any other kind of white effect, white energy with this on top would probably look amazing. Uh, it still looks very pretty on its own, but I think as far as trading and, and the unusual market, these will probably be more the lower tier ones. But these are still pretty on their own. Props on this update. Even the low tier ones, I mean, you got to have a range, right? Everything can't be high tier or god tier. So if you had to pick, these would probably be on the lower end. But these are still pretty darn nice. Pyro Land Dreamed Land. Now, I love this not because I think it's going to be crazy god tier or because it's perfectly themed with certain hats, whether it's for Pyro or the balloony hoodie or whatever. I mean, if that happens, if that's unboxed, that's going to be a whole new level of theme and <laughs> expensive collector item. But... The fact that this is so simple, it's got TF2 written all over it. I think the rainbow trail is beautiful, the sparkling lights, the little rocking back and forth, the balloon unicorn. So although this is kind of a silly meme for TF2, it just fits so well and it's unique enough and different enough that it's perfect. And I think they waited to the right time. This coming out with Christmas is probably a good time, better time than ever to have it come out because this could have been part of any update, really. <laughs> the fact that they put it in here is just like, good, finally we get it. But... This is going to be one that's probably going to be lower tier, unless for some reason it's a really, really rare unbox rate. I'm not sure if it is. I haven't looked around a whole lot. If this ends up being a super rare unbox rate, it could be kind of expensive, especially on certain hats. Obviously on just a generic hat or a demo hat, it's not going to be worth very much. But on a pyro hat, on something that's kind of themed around pink or pyro land and kind of fun play kind of stuff, it'll be worth a good amount, especially, like I said, on the balloon hoodie hat. Uh, that's going to be worth a ton if, it, if that ever happens. So props to whoever unboxes that. You're going to be getting a lot of people adding you and paying a lot of money. But I'm just glad they added this one. Like, I don't care that if it's low tier. I don't care if it's silly. It's just, it's really nice. It's TF2 themed. And uh, it's just fun. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't just make you happy looking at this effect. To me, it makes me happy. So moving into the unusual taunts, we're starting off with good hearted goodies, which the effect when I put it, uh, you know, when I was loading it to do the test, you can't see the b effects on the bottom. But a lot of these new unusual taunts have a really pretty base, like the bottom where the effect s starts and comes out of the ground. Um, this one I actually like, though. I don't think it's going to be god tier or super expensive. If it ends up being really rare, that's cool, too. But I can already imagine with certain loadouts, whether you're a Santa as a soldier or an engineer or a heavy... Whatever it is, this unusual taunt is just going to be so themed and so fun. And like I said, it just gives you happy vibes. And I think it looks cool. Although these, you know, usually you get these kind of cheap looking 2D objects and it's just like, eh, it doesn't look like a real effect. These look like 3D virtual, you know, presents that are actually flying through the air and have a sparkle trail. So I like it. I think it's very pretty. I don't think it's going to be worth a whole lot, depending on how many are unboxed. But it's definitely something that I think people are going to like. People might actually go out of the way to get these effects, to match them with outfits and stuff. So... This one is very cool. It's just a happy, good-looking taunt, solid all the way around, even if it's low tier. I, I, I think it's nice. 
wintry wrap and arctic aura now these they did a great job because like i was saying even some of the more lower tier ones that i think aren't going to be as popular as in demand still look pretty nice now these effects on their own they look great i like the purple we don't have a lot of these kind of purple effects i mean for unusual hats we're getting more of them but not so much for unusual taunts and i love that these are both super winter smithsmith themed and kind of this hurricane cyclone of you know snow and wind and air so I really like that. These are big effects. So in game, it's actually hard to see them because they're just so big. And that aspect, I think people will like them. And if you're going to theme it, you know, you can put on the ice skating unusual taunts or there's some other taunts that it might be a little bit more themed with. You're creating this tornado effect. These are cool. These are legit. They're probably going to be the more cheaper end uh, on the lower tier, but they're still pretty cool. The fact that you have three versions of them, you can't always have, you know, everything be high tier. So if I had to pick, probably the purple is going to be the more high tier than going on to the lighter blue, the Arctic or one. But very nice effects overall. Very cool. Last but definitely not least, we have Winter Spirit, Festive Spirit, and Magical Spirit. And just let you guys have a second to look at these, think about them, take it all in. I know there's a lot going on here, uh, but think about this. Which one do you think is 1, 2, 3 as far as high tier, low tier, medium tier? Which one's going to be the most popular? I have my opinions, of course, but just to cover my basis of all these, these are very pretty. And I love what they did, and they made these slow. And it didn't really render exactly when I was doing the item test to, you know, to record this video. They're a little bit off-center with the character, so it looks weird. It actually supposed to wrap around you better. And there's a base where the effect comes out of the floor that's actually very bright, too. So it's actually missing a little bit more of the extra the beauty and the sparkle that comes with this taunt. But all three of these are great. I like that they made these kind of a bright, kind of almost like neon blue, not just like a generic blue got to have your smith smith's wintry colors too so they got that version then you have your festive version which the colors on these are really cool i can see anyone who wears a smith smith's loadout or wears green and orange or green and red or whatever kind of pattern that's gonna look great and then magical in my opinion is just gorgeous i don't know this effect you know if you're wearing a nebula hat or any kind of energy or just fight like almost anything this is gonna look great but when i was recording this i was really just staring at my screen for all looking at the magical spirit one like Wow, that's that's really pretty. <laughs> Something about the color combination, the sparkles, the lights, it just makes you just want to look at it, which I think if I had to pick, that's probably going to be the most popular. Maybe Festive is the second or the third. Festive is a little bit more unique in my opinion, but Magical Spirit is going to be, it's probably going to be pretty expensive, especially on a rare taunt, uh, especially on an all-class taunt or a continuous taunt. It's probably going to catch a pretty penny and people are going to hold on to them. That's one of those things where there's certain effects you just see and you're like, I want that and I want to keep it. I don't even want to sell it. These are going to be definitely mid to high tier depending on how many come out. And uh, wow, well, well, that's it. That's all the new unusuals, whether they're for hats or for taunts. I showcased them. I talked about them and gave you guys my thoughts and opinions. But now I want to hear from you. So down below, let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite, which one you think is going to be high tier, or low tier. Uh, maybe if you could unbox any new effect on any hat, uh, any kind, what would it be? Kind of your dream un unusual unbox. So thank you guys for joining me as always. I look forward to seeing you in game during the holidays. Don't forget to keep playing TF2 as long as you can. Keep this community going. And yeah, I'm hyped for trading. This is very exciting. Whether these end up being high tier, low tier, whatever. I don't care. These are pretty. I'm glad we got new unusual. So I'm excited. This is a good way to end the year on a bang for TF2. But yeah, have a great one, you guys. If you have not yet, if you want to support me, this is YouTube. So you know what to do. And I also have a Steam group down below. I will link that to you guys if you want to join the Elite Squirrely Squad. And it'll be notified of all my new videos. So Happy holidays. See you guys in game. Keep a lookout for the next video. And uh, yeah, until then, peace.